the Hempfield Jane Doe, identified as Tila Thompson. Tila Thompson was one of 10 children in her family home, and she was last seen at her high school in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Her family believes she was still alive and out there somewhere, which they explained is why they didn't report her missing. There are different statements online saying whether she was or wasn't. Tila is home now, but her mother sadly never got a chance to know the truth. Her mother passed away in the early 2000s. What bothers me about this case is there's only one photo available of Tila. She was 14 when she went missing. Her last photo was taken at age 8. It's believed that after running away, she stayed in the area for a while. She was assaulted in pretty much any way possible, and it resulted in her death. She was found by a person walking by, and when they spotted her, she was lying unclothed except for a sock. But the police cared, and they worked hard to identify Tila this meaning eventually exhuming her body again in 2015 to do a facial reconstruction. However, like so many of the other does, when they went to exhume her body, it wasn't where it was supposed to be. Unlike some of the others, however, they did actually find her grave. It turns out the cemetery had 610 residents, and their graves were misnumbered after a storm happened and they damaged the numbers that were on there originally. They were able to find her 30 yards away, confirming her identity with dental records and DNA. They also discovered she was buried in 1967 with another local doe, an infant, when they finally found where she was buried. And now they're searching for that child's identity. This is one of the cases where the composites were a blessing. After seeing one of them online, Mary Thompson contacted authorities with the suspicion that her older sister, Tila, was that Jane Doe. Mary would go on to submit her DNA to the crime lab, and it was officially matched to Tila in the mid-2016s. Tila's family announced their belief that a man who worked for a local dry cleaner may have employed Tila and might be responsible for her murder. But so far, this hasn't been proven and no suspects have been named. Tila's sister Mary shared that she moved to Greenberg, Pennsylvania in the mid-1990s, and by then her mother was in poor health. Her mother told Mary she was concerned about her move and told her to be careful because her sister Tila was murdered there, leaving a possible question about whether or not her mother knew who the doe was. But if she did, she didn't say, so that's likely not the case. Maybe just a suspicion. Anyone who follows this channel knows I work really hard not to blame the victims or the victim's family for anything, because we weren't there and we don't know what happened, with the exception of blaming those clearly at fault for abuse or some other kind of crime. To be clear, I don't blame her mother for Tila's death, but I am very much bothered by the fact there's only one photo. She was 14 when she went missing. Her last photo was taken at age 8. Poverty could be the explanation, or it could also be neglect. By all accounts, Mary and her mother loved Tila, and Mary never spoke to the press. Tila Thompson went unidentified for 48 years. The Yuma, Arizona Jane Doe 1999, identified as Angel Marie McAllister. Angel was the oldest of four kids, born in 1981. She was described as the glue of the four sisters, although they fought all of the time. But it was Angel who held them together and made them a team. She was the one with all of the ideas, always looking for fun, and she had the best plans, her sisters would say. At some point, all of the girls ended up in foster care. There were four, but it appears the youngest child, Serenity, had passed away already. The three remaining girls were placed together, but eventually they were split up. For some reason, two grew up together in Grants Pass, Oregon. Angel was relocated to Southern California all by herself. Her sister, Chastity, said that the girls all had issues stemming from terrible things that happened while they were growing up. But despite all of that, it was Angel who made everything better. Angel was spunky, strong, and beautiful, so it isn't surprising that She took off from foster care and went looking for her sisters. It was that journey that ended in tragedy two months later in Yuma, Arizona. How and why she ended up in Yuma is a complete mystery. It was the last place her family would have ever looked for her. Someone had shot the young woman and left her alongside the river. Authorities knew she was young, and they took note of some of the jewelry she was wearing at the time. She had a partially finished tattoo on her right ankle that read, Angel Baby. But because of the damage to her face, there was no way to identify her. It took DNA from her sister and her mother, over a thousand miles away, to finally solve this case. Sadly, the person who took her life is still out there unpunished. 
Anyone who has any idea about Angel's journey or saw her in Yuma is asked to contact the number on your screen. Angel McAllister went unidentified for 17 years. She was found 171 miles away from where she went missing. Thanks everybody for watching and listening. We have new episodes every Monday and Thursday. Take care of yourselves and each other.